Testimony underway in the trial of a Brown Deer police officer, Devin Kramer. She's accused of shooting an unruly but unarmed suspect in the back almost two years ago. Pete Cervakis live at the courthouse with today's developments. Pete. Carolyn Steve, the jury spent much of today reviewing surveillance video from the day of the shooting. We want to warn you that some of that can be tough to watch. This squad car video captured the aftermath of the shooting. It happened almost two years ago near 60th and Brown Deer. Jurors also watched this surveillance video from an MCTS bus. Officers Devin Kramer and Michael Lehman pull Manuel Burnley Jr. from the bus because he's arguing with the driver. The prosecutor says Burnley Jr. did not plan to hurt anyone. Yes, you can hear Manuel Burnley is foul mouth. But what you'll also hear, the evidence will show, not one time did he punch an officer. Not one time did he kick an officer. Once off the bus, video shows Burnley Jr. resisting handcuffs and all three people fall to the ground. He's moving his arms, he's thrashing around. He doesn't want to be handcuffed. It's not as if he's just sitting there. Kramer's lawyer says she believed she and her partner were in danger. She thought Burnley Jr. could be armed and fired a single shot into his back. But an expert for the state does not believe her because she holstered her gun right after firing. You'll hear his voice, but you won't see his face. The judge has ordered us not to show any witnesses. It makes no sense to shoot him once and have him still be moving and yelling and so forth and put your gun away. If this is a deadly threat, why would you put your gun away? That's not how officers are trained. Now, Kramer remains on administrative suspension from Brown Deer PD. We can tell you that the state will continue to call witnesses tomorrow morning when court wrapped up for the day. They had just sworn in their second witness, which was Officer Lehman. Live at the safety building, Pete Zervakis, today's TMJ4. We will continue, Pete. Thanks.